Hello, North Vegan here, back with another episode of Scrap Mechanic Survival. I've been having a blast, and I went and went. I've been having a blast, and I went to the uh, warehouse last ep. Went to the warehouse last episode, and I picked up some more of these things to uh, help in the construction of both our base and our uh, big truck. And I've got some ideas for some of these parts for the big truck that I think will be exciting. I'm not sure if I want to do the big truck this episode. I think I do. Um, I was thinking I might do a revamp of this. Uh... What, what are you doing? Why, why are you freaking out? Why are you freaking out? What is happening? It's like glitching out or something. Are you okay? It's bucking. It's a bucking bronco. Yeehaw! Rattle cowboy. Weird. It's like glitching out. Oh man, it is bucking. It's a bucking bronco for sure. Let me see if I can do some improvements to this thing while we're talking about it. I don't know what's going on with the uh, with the p pistons just randomly firing there. That was that's weird. I've never seen that happen. Okay, so let's um, if I upgrade this thing to a higher level, I can speed it up some, and then this thing won't come crashing down. And what? <laughs> Look at it go! What the heck? Why is it doing this? That's hilarious and concerning about other vehicles. Um, also, I could put a bearing engine on here and it might, uh, make, well, it would certainly make it far more efficient because then we would no longer need uh, this gas engine. Um, I'm thinking we might just do that. I have this one controller here, but I'll need another one for the bearings. Um, which is no problem. I do have one. I was kind of saving it for my truck, but I got plenty of components. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this thing in the garage and, uh, so that we have access to all of our parts. And, uh, when I say garage, I mean up here, as you can see, my elevator music's working pretty good. I increased the range of the sensor, so... It lasts longer. And I slowed it down a little bit. <laughs> uh, yes, I slowed down the elevator so that we could uh, hear music longer. That's that's funny. All right, uh, speaking of which, we need to go ahead and get our new clothes. So let's get our new clothes. Let's get another green garment box and make that. All right, and while that's doing that, I'm going to take a look and get my parts for this thing. Here's a level 5 controller, which I think is what I'm going to need. And I'll probably need some of these pipes. Yeah, I got some on me already. I uh, might need some curvies. I'm not sure. Not sure what I'll, how many I'm gonna need. So we'll go with that. All right, he's done. What we got? Another new jacket. Okay. I kind of like the look at this one. Let's see what it looks like on. All right. Let's take a look at. Oh, it's it's an undershirt jacket, or an under overalls jacket. I don't. Really, it's clipping pretty badly. But it's what we got. It's what we're gonna wear. Okay. So, what do we need to do first for this thing? Well, let's let's get off these this engine. Don't need it. It's no longer necessary. I'm thinking if we upgrade this controller, I wonder if we take this switch off and use a button instead, if we wouldn't need this timer either, because we would hit the button and it could activate. Now we'd still need the timer, I guess. Hmm. But if this was fully upgraded and rotated quicker, would we care if the pistons fired off quickly? Hmm. 
Not sure. We'll leave this as it is for now. And we, we might try a couple different iterations. All right, but first we're going to have to take out the wheels and the bearings and see if we can do that up here. Something like this. Something like that. All right, and then we'll put one thing in between them. And I'll need the welder tool probably. Yeah, there, it's all one piece, okay. Uh, let's see, let's grab our bearings and put them on there. So we'll put one there. I don't want it to be super fast, honestly, because it. I'm not sure how well it will control underwater if it's super fast. So let's just start with, say, six bearings. Is that fast? I don't know. Not sure if it is or not. So let's try it. Let's try it out and see what we get. And then uh, go from there. All right, so now we need to get down to this level for the front wheels. I'm the worst at judging levels on this. So if I go down like I had it originally, is it going to be the same height? I don't know. Let's see. Just, just looking, it looks like the same height. So, I think it is. All right. Okay, so now I need another controller. And here's one right here. I'm gonna pop him down here where the engine was. All right. Nice little bit of lag there. Okay, so that is still doing that. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we just make sure the bearings are all turning in the same direction. These are going. Uh, uh, counterclockwise and these are going counterclockwise okay so that looks good that all looks good why is that thing freaking out I don't know I don't see anything wrong here I noticed something was going on in my elevator yesterday too I wonder if they did some sort of patch and it's messing with some of the physics or something I don't know don't know if anybody else has seen that in their game let me know in the comment section below I'm interested to to see. Um, also, I will need this to be attached to the seat. Like so. Okay. And I think that should be it. Let's pop him down here and see what we got. Let's see what we got. And I've got no power. What did I forget to do? Ah. <laughs> it helped if I turn on the controllers here with the power. Yeah, this would help. All right, so let's turn that on. Let's turn it on loop. Let's put it on full power first. All right, this should do it. There we go. Oh boy, it's quick. It was just six on there. I mean, it's not like super fast, but it's pretty quick. Let's go down here and take a look and see if we can gather some oil. I think I unfortunately gathered a little bit of oil by hand here recently, so... Um, yeah, but not too much. Let's go see if we can gather some more. 
Hmm, if I make this thing all-wheel drive, though, it might be a little bit better. Yeah. It's still, I think, faster swimming, but not as fun. This is definitely funner than swimming. Because, uh, because you're driving, you know? Kind of reminds me of SnowRunner, for some reason. <laughs> All right. Whoa, whoa, yeah, it's freaking out. It's just <laughs> right up, cowboy. Wee ha, wee doggies. What is going on with those pistons and bearings? It's really the pistons that looks like it's having the glitch. I don't know. It's pretty weird. Uh oh. Might have messed up there. Super, super powerful. Like, it doesn't have any trouble in this terrain at all. Too bad you can't get uh, clamshells on here as well <laughs> when you're driving. That would be sweet. Get all of your underwater needs fulfilled. With this one simple product. And it can be yours, too, for $9.99. Uh-oh. There I go, high center again. All right, so let's head back to the base, and uh, let's see if we can add a little bit of weight to the front of it. Front wheels are staying on the ground a little better. Just a little bit. Every little bit helps, you know? So, yeah. Cool. Definitely the torque is better. I mean, it get, goes up hills like, <laughs> like no problem. No problem. It's like, hills? Who are you kidding with these hills? You could even uh, gather some of these flowers if you wanted be a flower gathering vehicle as well. If you got high flowers, you just <laughs> you want to pick some flowers off some trees, you just do do this thing here. Uh, away you go. Whoop. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Woo! Now that was cool. All right. Um, let's take this thing back up here and put it back. Okay, so. What all parts do we need? I need that. I need a lot of stuff. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started building here. So the main body I'm going to make out of these rusted metal blocks. And I want them to be... I want it to be eight. wide in the back and 10 wide in the cab the quote unquote cab so let's get something like that all right how about something like that that would be this will be the floor of the cab and then we will need our seat. And it will go over here in the front. And we can put a passenger seat here as well, even though I don't ever play multiplayer, but um, I might in the future. Okay. And so this will be there okay uh, we will need a way to deliver our crops from this vehicle so I brought a chest all right so the chest can be back here okay just like that and then we can put the, uh, the shooter pump out didn't get that yet. All right, I'm I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm probably gonna do I'm gonna upgrade this at some point and make this so that uh, so this extends out instead of just being static. All right, so I might make, need to make this bigger. I didn't realize this was so big. 
But for now, this this is going to be the first iteration. All right. So let's get this up here. Like so. And then I'll have a... Uh, let's see. Let's go there and... How tall does it need to be before I bump my head when I pop out? All right, <laughs> let's see what that is. Well, that's that gives me clearance. Looks awful. I hate the look of it. It's really tall. Really, really tall. So, I wonder if. Hmm. I mean, I'm not crazy about it being this tall, even. Uh, that still gives me clearance. I'm not super crazy about that even, honestly. Shocks on here like like I was going to. Just like so. And then we'll put on um a pipe. Actually, you know what? I can build. Uh, I can build some stuff around this to make that uh, look better. All right. So if we go out here, something like that, and then we come out here.
Okay, so now for the rear of the vehicle. Um, it's going to come out. Something like that. Something like that. Let's put one of those there. One of those there. And then we'll put on one of these. Those. Okay. And then we'll put something just like that. Okay. And we'll probably need shocks for these rear wheels. Oh gosh, something I did not even think about. That's okay. Um, if I put the shocks is that the same height as the front wheels? They've got a pipe coming out the bottom of them, right? And then a bearing. If I go pipe down and pipe down, this may not be exactly the right height here. All right, now I need my bearings. I only got six, <clears throat> so um. I'm not sure how powerful this will be, so let's go one, two, three. Definitely gonna have to go out further here. Four. Five. Um, actually, I'm gonna put the wheel right on here. Let's see. Something like that. That looks pretty aligned. But now I need more bearings. I need one, two, three, four. I need five bearings. Something like that. That looks pretty good. Alright. And then uh, now for the bearings. So I need a bearing here. And that. And then a bearing. And that. And then a bearing. And then a bearing. Okay, I think that's all I need there. There we go. Now I guess we better make sure these are all welded together here. They are not. Oh yeah, that's all. It's all one piece, I think. Okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's this is a fully functional truck. It's not, obviously, I need to finish the cab and put on some tail lights, uh, which I happen to have some right here. All right, let's just put those guys on here. Something like that. Of course, it needs to be red. Like that. There we go. And then white for the front. Alright. 
cool. All right, so now um, let's lower this down a little so I can get on the back here. And I'm going to put on these guys. Hmm. I was hoping to fit on there like this way, but it looks like it won't let me place it that way. So right, wait a second. How am I going to get out? I guess I can get out the back. So I got that going along the edge there. Okay. All right. Good. Good stuff. Okay. So now for the cargo area, let's put in. these like that all right and I'm gonna have to have a trailer hitch of something of some sort some way to attach trailers so if I come out like that I might be able to make like a little hitch right here That the trailer could attach to. Hmm. Let me, let me give that some thought. Let me give me that. Let me give the trailer some thought. Let's finish the truck first. Okay, so we need our controller, and I don't have one. Alright, so the controller will go right here. And let's get it upgraded. Alright, full level 5. Fast as can be. You can hold up to 10 bearing connections. How many do I have? More than more than 10, probably. Alright, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. Okay. So, um, that's wired up to that. That's wired up to that. This needs to go up to there. All right. Okay, pretending like I'm driving. All right, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get these changed over so that they are counterclockwise. And I think we are ready. I'll probably have to increase the shocks on these. That's okay. And I wanted to, can you just put wheels on the outside of wheels or do you have to put bearings in between them? If I do something like that, how's that? How's that work? Mm, it is setting lower in the back. It's definitely lower. So we need to go up, up one, up a block. Because I know this is not that much heavier. In the front, okay, but uh, let's let's check it out. Well, I have to fix that. But let's see if we can drive this thing. Hello. Huh? All 
I always forget this part. <laughs> you gotta activate the controller settings. All right. Oh my god, this is awesome. All right, so yeah, I need to raise up the the bearings. I mean the. Uh, it's awfully wobbly back there. I definitely need better suspension than the back. Okay. And what else? And might extend that rear part. Okay. Okay. All right. So I need to extend this whole thing up one block so what's the best way to do that maybe I can weld it all back together if I just cut one of these pipes it needs to go down one so if I cut this pipe this will fall off I need to upgrade these more too, yeah. Alright, so boo, 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 I need to cut this pipe. Ay ay ay. That's not what I thought would happen. Okay. Let's go one pipe down. Then shock down. Okay, well, I may have to just redo all of it, but we'll see what happens here. Okay. I think I, I think it maybe wasn't welded together after all. Okay. I don't think these two were actually welded. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the same thing with this guy. Um let's grab this part. That falls down. Okay. And then we'll need No. Although that looks cool. I really like the look of that. That's not what I wanted. Okay. And then I need another three piece. Where's my three piece? Oh, it's down here. Okay. Um, you three piece. I'll be you. And then you go there. And I need to. How come I can't weld those two together? Mm. Fix the floppy Joe. All right, so yeah, this is the truck. <laughs> In all of its glory. Oh, it's gloryful. It's glorious. And uh, yeah, we'll um, we'll fix that back there. And we'll see if we can figure out what's going on with that. But uh, other than that, I think we are just about done. I am going to put one more support beam right here. Just like 
that and then maybe something like that there we go and then uh, we might end up doing um, some additional decorative work I'm definitely gonna paint it so don't worry about that definitely gonna paint this thing I don't know what I'm gonna do with the paint just yet but uh, I'm definitely gonna do some painting um, And then uh, we'll, we'll probably end up doing a little bit more decorative work as well, just to make it look a little cleaner and uh, not so, you know, normal. There we go, something like that. Uh, yeah, that might, that might work. Something like that might work. And maybe a little something like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks kind of nice. All right, like I said, I wish we had wedges, but we don't, so might as well wish for the stars. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do some more work on it, and uh, we'll take a look at it uh, together. After I get it finished, maybe the next episode we'll do a delivery or something. Maybe we can make a trailer for it next episode, but uh, I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, smash that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.